Hey y'all, we've got a fun video today. We have been given this Monstera Deliciosa to kind of spruce up and revive and whip into shape a little bit. Shout out to Jasmine Lowe for the uh, new plant merch. This is the new, I think they're new, the crop tops. They weren't on there before. Yeah, no, they weren't on there before. Anyway, she has come out with crop tops. Y'all know I had to get the Plant Mama shirt. There's other new stuff on there too, like tank tops and things like that. So go check it out. Link will be below as per usual. But yeah, before we begin, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click subscribe, join the family. And don't forget to hang out in the comments below, either during the video or after the video. Let me know how you're doing, how your plants are doing. If you just want to stop by and say, hey, whatever is on your mind. I love chatting with y'all and we love chatting amongst each other. So join in, in the conversation in the comments. But let's go ahead and get into this revival. So my mom's friend has given me this gorgeous monster. If I remember correctly, I think she said it was just kind of like getting a little out of hand growth wise. And then she wasn't really sure, like it kind of got out of hand. She wasn't sure how to reel it back in. So she's given it to us to spruce up, revive, whip it back into shape. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna come up with a game plan and then we're going to put in a little work on this bad boy. And then of course I'll do updates and let y'all know how it's going. Since this is our first like rescue mission together, I want y'all to help me name this plant. So give your suggestions in the comments and then maybe I'll do a poll with any suggestions that we get and we'll come up with a name for this guy or girl or whatever, you know. The minute I got a picture of this, I immediately knew I was going to chop it. And here's why. The stem, as you can see, hella bent, hella bent. There's really no straightening that. So what I was thinking was, hear me out, we chop at each node and just completely start fresh. It's also in dirt, which I don't typically uh, use. I've been really into pond and honestly, I think Monsteras really, really like pond. We are gonna get it out of dirt and I think we're gonna water propagate it and then stick it in pond eventually. We'll see how many cuttings we can stick in one pot and just make one big bushy Monstera. So that's the game plan, I think, honestly. She did have the right idea trying to stake it. I don't know if it was reaching for sunlight or what, but it did, it just, it's like, I've never seen one bend like that. So that's interesting. We like a little sass, a little, little wild spirit. We like that, so. I'm gonna cut this at each node and see what we could do with it. And then we'll clean it up and get it into water. That's so crazy. Look how like twisted it is. I've never seen a monster do that. <laughs> it does have really good roots though. So cool, cool, cool. This is what we have now. This is so interesting. I have never seen a monster do this. Crazy. Okay. So we're gonna cut here. I honestly don't know if this will survive or not, but we're gonna try it, why not? We have so many cuttings that um, if it doesn't, it'll be okay. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have cut it down here because then it would have had this root. That's smart. It's got a little growth point right there though, so I'm just gonna chop that and see what happens, who knows. This guy with a little bit of root up here. This guy. Last but not least, we have this. I think what I might do is chop it here. Since I can see that that's a viable node, I'll chop that and keep that, but I think I'm gonna chuck the rest because we have so many cuttings at this point and this is gonna have to start completely over. So this is gonna be its own separate thing. Okay, I think this has potential, so we'll, we'll keep that one too. So these two we will stick together because they're basically starting from complete scratch. So the leaves are gonna be like super duper small and all of that. So these will be its own separate little plant. So we have 13 potential Monstera plants, <laughs> 13. I'm probably gonna stick these in pond because they need somewhere to like kind of rest, you know what I mean? So this will go in pond. All of these I'm going to wash and then we're gonna stick it in water. And I'm probably gonna keep this in water for a while just because I want it to um, get some really good roots before we throw it in any kind of substrate. So let's go wash this down and then let's see if we can find a container big enough to keep them all in. If not, we might have to separate them. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Currently washing it down in the tub. 
with a little bit of Dr. Bronner's peppermint pastel soap. Please stop. Same thing that I do for imports, but I just want to wash this thing down and make sure that there is no bugs or spiders or dirt or anything like that. We're giving it a fresh, clean start and then we'll put it in water. Okay, so right now they're still wet, so they're kind of sitting in this window a little crazy. <laughs> But I have them just chilling in this window. Once they dry off, they'll sit a little better. But they are each sitting in a glass of water. And I've stuck them in this window because this window gets direct evening light. And it seems like the plants in this window tend to do really, really well. So I'm going to keep them in this window in water until they start to root. And then we'll figure out what to do with all of these bigger cuttings. Okay, so now we have this last little bit which are these uh little babies since these already have pretty decent roots i'm just going to stick these in pond and see what happens all right let's see okay so we're gonna leave it like this and we'll see what these do. Okay, y'all, so that is it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I am so excited to see how these little babies do. Definitely give me name suggestions so that we could do updates and it'll have a name and yeah. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and rehabbing a plant with me and spending some time. I appreciate you. I hope y'all are taking good care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye fam.